What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, click post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. And let's jump right into this video. So today, you guys, we finna draw your boy Mike Tyson, and we're gonna turn him into an animated character. And we're gonna do it step by step. So the first thing we're gonna do. If you got a digital art tablet like I do with the pen, you will have an option to set your pressure sensitivity to your brush. So, you want to go ahead and come up here, click new brush, hit OK, go to the last one, click pressure, and make these two numbers even. And I like, I mainly do five and four, five and five and four and four, so. And there you go, you should have your, your pressure brush. And to get my lines to look like this, I come in light and I press hard in the center and I come out light. And it'll give you that, that tight feel for the brush. Okay, first thing you wanna do is pick you a bright color. Bring your opacity down because you want to start out with sketches. You want to start out basically with your blueprint. You don't want to go ahead and jump right into it. And I see a lot of people when they're working on a piece, they take their time on the sketch when really that should be the time you be careless because you don't, you're really just trying to make a, a sculpture like a blueprint to the, like to a house or something. So what I do is, I kind of sculpt out how I want his body type to be. And I make sure I'm free, like, man, mainly have fun with it. I don't put too much thought into it. Because this the, this the trying to figure things out phase when you're doing your your sketch and your line work is when you know for sure how you want your lines to be but during the, the sketch part of this you just want to go through and see I'm just going mainly with the flow I'm not like never do this when you're working on a blueprint basically never just because you're not sure if you're gonna keep your line so it's just the it's best just to go through with a nice flow you know what man like, and keep in mind the best the, the reason I don't take my time because I know through the drawing when I'm doing the sketch it's going to be a lot of little changes I'm, I I want to do so it's best not to get attached to a certain okay. I want to make it smaller so I can fit more of him on the page so I'm going to shrink it Just to fit, just to fit the boxing gloves on. Championship belts. You want to hold Control Z and just keep tapping Z until you delete everything you want to delete. Bring that up. So this belt. Shoulder. 
Yeah. We're gonna add another bill. And if you notice how when I'm erasing it's changing my lines, but I'm gonna show you why it's doing that. The reason it's doing that because only way it I give you a clean erase if you merge all your lines together, but if you don't, it'll just turn it into like a bubble. So, but it's cool. I don't care about it, it doing that because I'm working on the line. I'm not working on the line work. This is just like a my blueprint. Now that I finally got the blueprint exactly how I want it, now it's time to go in and add the detail. So what you want to do is you want to lock this layer, add a new layer, and we're going to start doing our line work. So we're going to get out the color black. Now we're going to go in with the final detail. And this will, this will be the part you, you take your time on. Now that we finished with the line work, we finna merge all the lines to make it one. And I'm gonna show you something about the eraser tool. You see if I erase this, it'll turn into like a, it'll switch my whole line to keep it from doing that. You gotta select everything, go to object, expand appearance, and you want to click merge to make all the lines one when you use the eraser tool it'll make a clean cut instead of switching switching the line see that's just a, a tip if you didn't know 
So what I'm gonna do is now that I got all my lines merged, I'm gonna change the size of the part where it fit on the board. Bring it up so now we finna add our base color. So what we wanna do is we wanna make a new layer. I mean duplicate the layer. We're gonna lock the top layer. Select the second. And we're gonna find a nice skin tone. So, more reddish. go to arrange and send that color to send to back send the color to the back and then we're gonna highlight everything again we're gonna highlight everything again and we're gonna click merge so we can make it one and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click I mean we're gonna regular click and right click I'm gonna isolate select the group so we can pick each individual color that's inside a certain area by itself. See? So, go ahead and change these boxes and gloves, make them red. that we got the base color down we're gonna add a new layer in between and now we finna do our shadows I gotta see which way I want to okay now I'm finna click the skin tone I'm finna find a nice decent color for a shadow That'll be that'll be it right there. So now we're gonna, we're gonna do our shadows. Let's see, we do one on the nose.
add another layer on our dark shadow. And we're gonna go a little lighter. Now we about to do our highlights. So I just made a new layer and I put it under my line work.
And there you have it, man. How you draw Mike Tyson in cartoon and an anime type style. You know what I'm saying? More heat coming soon. Appreciate y'all for watching. And I'm out this time.